Sun Bonani guys, it's still August and it's Women's Month and we're celebrating Abu Mama. As promised, I'm speaking to inspirational women who are telling their stories because it is the I Am Women series. Today I am with the wonderful Debu Homukwena. I call her Usis Debu Ho. Say hi. Hello, <laughs> uh, viewers at home. It's so good to be here. Thanks for having me. Yeah, thanks, thanks for being here. Um, Usis Debu Homukwena is a, so you are a graduate, you studied, is it integrated marketing and advertising? Mm -hmm. And communication. And communications. And I can see you're a communicator. She <laughs> is, she also studied ministry. She is also the founder of Vuyo Mukwena Foundation and co-founder of Growth Point mm -hmm. Media and Events. So you are a businesswoman uh -huh. and a mom and a media personality and a preacher and a speaker. And that's how we met, of course, Gulezito um, a preacher. Mm -hmm. And you're just an all-round wonderful woman. Um... You were born again at the tender age of 13 and you are still on fire for Jesus Christ. What has kept you in God all these years? It's nothing but the grace of God. It's, it's only the grace of God that can keep you saved for that long, the longevity. Mm -hmm. So um, it's, it's just him and the relationship that I have with him. Mm -hmm. The Bible says a wise woman puts God first. Mm -hmm. the, the Bible says beauty fades, but a, a woman that fears the Lord is praised. Mm -hmm. So I believe that um, I, I was kept under his wings and under his protection for such a long time yeah. because of the grace mm -hmm. uh, that is upon my life. And also my decision as a woman to be strong in the Lord mm. and to keep mm. the faith. To hold on to no hold matter on what. No matter yeah. what. Yeah. It's not easy, you know. Yeah. Life is not easy. It's not a, uh, a bed of roses. However, God is our refuge and our strength. Amen. And His grace is sufficient Amen. to keep us uh, through our journey in life. True. Amen. Amen. Um, I want to talk briefly about you, the businesswoman, mm -hmm. uh, because I know sometimes as women who preach the gospel, we tend to be boxed, you know, mm -hmm. preachers, but you do, you are co-founder of um, Growth Point Media and Events. Talk to us about your company and what you do there. Okay, Growth Point Media and Events, it's an events company. Mm -hmm. um, we do promotions, marketing, and also my background from the degree that I did in, in marketing and yes. advertising. Um, so that is what we're doing. I believe that it, there's a woman that challenges me a lot. It's the very uh, Proverbs, Proverbs 31, 31 woman. Yes. She, she's an all-rounder. She does everything. I was in so, so I studied <laughs> this woman and I saw that if she can do it, I can also yes. do it. So Growth Point is just uh, about media. We do advertising, we do promotions and also events. That's how mm. we met. Also with my other uh, ministry that I've started, um, Royal Priesthood yes. Ministries. So you name it, everything. We Pamphlets we can do for you, uh, advertising, ad adverts, graphic designers, anything media related, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. we do it. And um, as a black woman in business, what has been some of the challenges that you have faced and have had to overcome? That industry is, dom is male dominated. Yes. And as a woman, you have to prove yourself. Mm -hmm. You have to work hard push, mm -hmm. be resilient, yeah. and know that uh, in a male-dominated industry, you have to work twice as hard mm -hmm. as a woman, mm -hmm. because uh, most of the time we're not taken seriously, mm -hmm. but that's how it is. Yeah. However, hard work, resilience, and um, determination will keep you strong in this industry, yes. And you're a very beautiful woman. Thank you. Um, a lot of times I find young people, especially in this 
age of social media where it's so easy to make money through posts through social media um taking their beauty and you know using that but being a beautiful black woman what made you continue with your studies what made you say you know what i know i'm beautiful and i could probably get any job with my beauty but i still want to have that diploma what made you go to school it's it's you know whatever that i do is based on the word of god uh pastor theo the bible says we need to study to show, show ourselves approved, approved. Mm -hmm. yes so to be taken seriously uh, when you do things you have to study mm -hmm. and beauty fades and 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 people are no longer attracted by beauty they want brains yeah so beauty i believe as women especially right now i'm talking to young women yeah. out there that talk and, to them to yes them. <laughs> it's not about beauty it's okay to be beautiful but you need to have brains yes and study to show yourself approved mm -hmm. and uh, when you go out there you are going to have influence because when you are uh, communicating or the mm -hmm. you, mm -hmm. yes. mm -hmm. it's something that has substance mm -hmm. and something that mm -hmm. can and can be listened to mm -hmm. can make an impact when you are well informed mm -hmm. so how can you give information if you do not know do not know anything so uh, education is very important education is key and I believe that um, it opens doors mm -hmm. and once they know that you are qualified you have a qualification then people in this industry are going to take you seriously that so that is why I decided that I have to go out there and study mm, I like that mm -hmm. um, you are also fondly known everywhere you go as the wife of Vuyo Mukwena the late, <laughs> the late great Vuyo Mukwena yes. you know when they introduce you that that's what they say and we like saying it mm -hmm. um, have you embraced that or does it bother you like guys can I just be table now or have you embraced the legacy that is left behind for you I have I had to embrace it was is still part of me I was married to him yeah and um, no matter where I go and no matter what I do they would always say she is the widow of that day of mm. however it, it that should not uh, define who mm. I am I'm also a woman and I'm an individual and I have mm. a purpose and uh, uh, and plan from God and a vision that I have yeah so I'd say it's okay to be uh, called <laughs> Damati, there's this other name that they like calling me Damati. Yeah. It's fine, I, I have to embrace it, he's part of my life, you, yeah. that will never change. And um, yeah, I think it's it's also what a benefit. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? Why not? Yeah. <laughs> yes. So yeah, I think that's all I can say about that. And um when 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 your when your previous when your husband I don't know what late husband late no, that's what they call it when he passed on mm -hmm. you were very young I think you're twenty eight twenty nine yes around that age around that age and you were left with a baby mm. that must have been a very challenging time for you how did you gravitate that season of your life and what made you say okay Nikali Lenkedile now mm. I need to be Tebuchomukwena I need to run a business I need to raise my child I need to be strong you know how did you gravitate that season and what was that moment of saying I need to keep going okay. it's it's okay to grieve and uh go through the grieving process Pastor Theo mm. and it's it's okay to be hurt and it's okay to cry mm -hmm. however life goes on mm -hmm. and uh, for the sake of my son like you mentioned that I have a son I had to be strong for him mm -hmm. and realize that um no matter what I do his dad will never come back mm -hmm. so I have to be strong and pick myself up and move on and be resilient that's mm -hmm. the ability to be to bounce back yeah. after a, a tragedy has happened it wasn't easy yeah and sometimes i felt like i took a thousand steps forward and then another ten thousand back. steps backward yeah. it's it's a normal process of grieving mm -hmm. however i had to take a stand and tell myself that um i have a baby to take care of mm -hmm. and he looks up to me i'm the mother and father that is mm -hmm. left that mm -hmm. he is and if i fail it means i am also going to fail mm -hmm. him as well mm -hmm. and he was very young when my husband went home yeah. to be with the lord i think he was around uh, about seven years old mm -hmm. and um 
it wasn't easy however god was on our side he says he's a husband of of of, mm. of widows and, and a father of the fatherless. fatherless so i had to teach him that to be strong in the lord and to make him understand that it's not the end of the world mm. life must go on mm. so i think um that that kept me strong what kept me strong is that i knew that i have to make sure that he grows up and sees that i'm strong for him mm. imagine me falling apart for the rest of my life mm. what was going to happen with him mm -hmm. so for his sake i had to take a stand and say yes it hurts and yes i was young i was broken i was lost sometimes i felt that i was going to lose my mind mm. however i had to be strong for his sake yeah and um I mean, he's he's a handsome, handsome young man. I think you're doing a a marvelous job with him. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you so much. Um, he he just turned um, nineteen now, and I wanted him to be. He's no longer a teenager uh, after this. <laughs> tall, taller, way taller than me, like his dad. Um, I wanted him to become a lawyer, and he said to me, "No, mom, I believe that's not what God wants me. A path that." What God wants me to take. I want to be in entertainment. So he went for an interview at YFM and they accepted him. He's oh, a YFM is a really good day and he wants to do music, but he does not want to do gospel music. He's a yeah. hip hop artist. But however, it, 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 it runs in the yeah, blood. It yeah. runs in the blood. It's, it's in its genes. Yeah. That's what it means that it has to be clean. It has, to, it be has to be clean. We are um, his parents are believers, yeah. so he needs to keep it clean, and he agreed. And, and he, will. He, he, he will. will. I believe he will. Yeah. Yes. Talk to me about the Vuyo um, Mukwena Foundation. Yeah. What what um, inspired you to to start the foundation, and what do you do through the foundation? Okay. I started the Dream Gwena Foundation because my late husband was passionate about orphanage. Okay. He grew up in a disadvantaged family oh. and a lot of time he interacted with orphans when he was still growing up. So he always had a dream to start something to give back to the family, to the, I mean, to the orphans. So um, when he went home to be with the Lord, I believe that that dream did not die with him. So I decided to start the foundation and work with underprivileged kids, orphanages, um, drug addicts, and abused children. So we've identified a few orphanages around Gauteng and some in, in, in uh, Mpumalanga. Mm -hmm. And uh, we do workshops for them we do outreaches for them we also preach the gospel which mm -hmm. is important to lay a godly foundation mm -hmm. in their lives so that is what we are doing currently with the vroom gwena foundation just to give back to the community work with orphans and and uh, just give them hope that mm -hmm. it's it's not the end of the world if you are an orphan you can still go out there and be great yes you can still go out there and impact uh, other lives and mm -hmm. you can still be a somebody in in this world yeah. so that is the objective of yeah. the film foundation and sometimes all all a child needs is that voice of hope Absolutely. To say that you might not have parents, yes. but you can still become something so great. Absolutely. And your foundation has then become that voice to so many children who, who don't have parents. Yes. You know, when you're saying that, uh, Pastor Theo, I remembered uh, the last time, it was last year, December, when we visited another orphanage in Mpumalang. Mm. When we got there, we had gifts and food and presents. And I think there was also a father Christmas. And it, it was just lovely. But there's this one child, and he was in a wheelchair dis dis uh, disabled uh, child. Yeah. You know, we were hugging them and we were just loving on them. But what I realized that what they need as well is love. Yeah. Because there is... A lack of love somewhere because they don't have parents and that child could not want did not want to let go she mm. kept on I mean hugging me and I just realized that this child as much as they need tangible is things do, is in but do, 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 do. Do. Yeah. they're just happy to see us when we go there and just to check up on them yeah it, 
even if we don't bring he did not she did not write things he just wanted that to be loved yeah so it's also a good thing just to love on these kids it's so true to show to tell them and to assure them that yes they might not have parents but they are still loved so true and share the love of christ so true and that is what we were called to do absolutely absolutely talking about um you know where people come from and 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 the fact that your background doesn't define where you're going mm-hmm. i was actually shocked to read that you are from um so where to yes. mdo <laughs> that's where i grew up in the yeah. dusty streets of oh, so where to, to. And, yeah. and i got excited because mm-hmm. i'm partially partially from, from so where to because yes, um, we figure so where to not 12 mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. i love that place i love mm-hmm. the culture i love the people like i've lived in so many places i don't think there is a place like ah, so where to <laughs> um what has what has being a child who grows up in so where to and god has given a platform to um do to you do you feel like god has given you an opportunity to be a light to so many people from the townships who can say if you na apume a a middlelands me na apume zola i can make it me na apume mdeni i can make it does it mean something to absolutely you? it does it does it shows that it does not matter your background doesn't mm-hmm. matter mm-hmm. it's where you going yeah. that matters and and that is more important in life and growing up uh, in the dusty streets of so I want to be honest with you because I never thought I would achieve what I've achieved mm. and um and it, there's a lot of poverty yeah. also and there's a whole lot of things that were going on I remember I was around 10 years or 13 years there was this group yeah, the, the gangs that were uh, raping kids, mm. girls, and hijacking. stuff like that, hijacking. Yeah. And then you violence. were probably a target with your own self. <laughs> yes. However, however, that does not define who I am. Mm. I was able to rise above <clears throat> that and achieve greater things. So what I'm trying to say is that uh, where you come from does not matter. Yeah. Where, where you were born is not important. It's, it's where you're going that is important. Amen. And if you find yourself in a place where you feel that you you will not be able to achieve anything, just rise above that and tell yourself that I can do it. Mm-hmm. If if um, I started humbly, I'm a humble beginnings, yeah. I can still achieve greater things and yeah. do mighty exploits. Yeah. But it starts with it. Yes. You have to tell yourself and be a dreamer and mm. dream big. I always Joseph. say, yes, be a Joseph. Mm. I always say if your dream is not big enough, it does, if it does not scale you, not it big means enough. it's not yeah. big enough and it, it means it's not from God. Yeah. You have to True. dream so big True. that you know that in your own ability you won't be able, won't to, be achieve, able to, yeah. to achieve that. Only through Christ you can make it and believe that all things are possible with him. Yeah. Yes. And um, <clears throat> you know as South African women right now we are facing a, a, a siege on women uh, with gender-based violence where uh, women are just being murdered, you know, in my look, she, wherever they go, women don't feel safe. Mm-hmm. And you are raising a young man. Mm-hmm. He's 19 now. He's on YFM. I haven't listened for a while, but I'm going to listen now. Yeah, got, the, <laughs> the midnight, is there. got the midnight show from uh, 2 a.m. to 6 a.m. No, we'll date on his show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And uh, so what are those foundational um, teachings that you try to install in your son that he becomes a better man uh, one day? Number one is to respect women. Mm-hmm. I know they think, I mean, it, it's believed that we are a, um, not a lesser, a, 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 what do you call it? Weaker. Weaker vessel. In, in fact, let me start here. Let's go to the book. You know, of Tina Bafundis, we always refer to the Bible. Mm. The, the Holy Book says, the book of Genesis, the beginning. It says, uh, the Lord said to, after the fall, the Lord said to the snake, I will put enmity. Mm. between you and the woman Mm. so there has always been a spiritual warfare between the enemy which is the 
Satan and a woman. Mm. So whether we like it or not as women, whether we are aware of it or not, whether we believe us or not, we should know and be reminded that there's an ongoing <coughs> battle mm, mm, mm. between us and the enemy which mm. is the serpent they were talking about in the book of genesis so um as men they need to be taught that they need to fight for us mm. as women be a protection for us protect so that is what i've taught my son Karaba, that you need to respect women and protect, protect women, women. Mm. and uh, because uh, society believes that we, we are a weaker vessel that does not mean they should that pray, on, pray us. on us mm. we need to be protected and to be respected and above all that to be loved mm. what does the bible say it says a man must love, love. Mm. the woman so that the woman can be able to submit. submit. Mm. Yes, yeah, so that's what I've been teaching him. I hope he's listening. <laughs> I'm sure he is. <laughs> yes. And you are, you are generally a very happy soul. You know, like ulaiti, like happy. <laughs> what, 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 what makes you? So, like, happy, where do you draw that joy from to, to life is challenging. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It, it, it will always have a mountains and valleys. Mm -hmm. But where do, you, where do you always find that smile, that sunshine? The joy of the Lord is my strength. Amen. In Amen. a nutshell, that's it. it it's, it's my relationship with God. It's, it's um, realizing how faithful and reliable he is. Yeah. He said in his word that uh, he loves us with an eternal love. Amen. He says that he has engraved us mm. in the palm of his hand. So to me, that knowledge uh, keeps me happy and keeps me going because I know that I have a great king by my side. Amen. So when the, the challenges of life happen, when the storms of life happen, yes, I get sad sometimes, but I'll always pick myself and say, the joy is your lo of, of the, the Lord, Lord is your strength. Amen. And you have God on your side. So why fear? Mm. Why be discouraged? I love what David says. I think it is, it's in Psalm 43. He says, I also learned to encourage myself. He says, why are you cast down over yeah, soul? Yeah. Why are you disquieted? Trust in God. Mm. So that, that is my motto. I believe that God is faithful and he will never leave me nor forsake me. So when all these things come, I have joy because I know the Lord is for me. Amen. 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 And um, you are actually our last guest for the month. Oh, wow. <clears throat> and out of Bonka, Bazalwana, Bazila, Baleta, Mama, Bye, so since you were adamant of yeah, coming with your Bible, Bible and we've reached the end of the interview and I'm so encouraged and I'm so blessed and I really pray that God uses everything that you do and expands everything, your business, the Vuyo Mkwena Foundation, your son, your family may continue to keep you. I'm encouraged. I know those who are listening are encouraged, but I... I feel led by the Spirit to ask you to just give us a word of encouragement and pray for us, you know, um, younger women who are still trying to figure things out and younger wives and even a woman who have lost their husbands who don't even know where to start to, to, to you know, to take the next step. Just give us a word of encouragement and pray for us. Okay, we'll do so. Um, I would like to say this is my favorite scripture and it has kept me going throughout the years. It says God is the father of the fatherless and a defender of widows. Amen. So it means there is a special uh, protection on, on, on mothers or, or women. So it means I, I believe that we are... I'm not saying God is a, 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 a has favorites, Maria's but I, I, I see I see favor on women. <laughs> yes. He has I lo highly loved. No, no, no. He us. even says yes. a man who finds a wife he finds a, a good, good thing, thing and so obtains favor. favor with him. Sing a that Sing a that no and favor. And even <laughs> when he created a woman, he said. He was always saying it is good when when he created the oceans and everything when he spoke a word and they came to be they became. 
But he said it, it. The only place when he said it is not good was when he said it is not good for a man Come on. to be alone. And then I will, I will give him a suitable helpmate. Mm. So we are going to you know we are helpers. Therefore, he has highly favored us to put us even to you position it almost like the Holy Spirit mm. because the ministry of the Holy Spirit is a what is the help. Mm. Jesus said it is expedient for me to leave mm. so that I can send you what. A helper. Okay. We are born out. I'm, I'm, I'm not comparing women with the Holy Spirit, but there is some similarities mm, there. Mm, so mm, that mm, mm. is mm. So there's a special favor and 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 um, grace to like, oh, mom. He loves us so much. So that should empower us. Amen. So that should um, uh, help us to do even a uh, greater exploit mm. as women and to be strong in the Lord. And to hold on to God no matter what. Amen. No, against all odds, be strong. Be those women of prayer. Mm. Be those strong women who will stand with God no matter what. Mm. We should not compromise. That's what I, I, I want to say. So that's the word of encouragement for today. God first. A woman that puts God first is what? Is wise. So let's come in agreement, uh, Pastor Theo. Amen. And pray for, for women. Uh, in this season father we thank you for this day we thank you for the ministry that you have put in the heart the pastor theo we thank you lord that you are still going to do mighty exploits Ngai. we thank you lord that you're going to open doors that no man can shut and also now i pray for each and every woman under the sound of our voices father you know their needs yes, Lord. you know their desires yes, Jesus. you know why you are taking them yes, i pray lord that where there is lack you provide where yes, they Jesus. need healing you heal them father where they need comfort you comfort them yes, father we believe that there is no uh, distance in prayer and for you to hear is for you to answer. Yes, and Lord. I know, Father, that you will answer our yes, prayers. Lord. So may your spirit just flow right now and touch all the lives of the people that are watching us today. In Jesus' mighty name, amen and amen. Amen. <laughs> amen. I, I, I am feeling the presence of God and I'm so encouraged by that prayer because I think I needed it myself. <laughs> and... Um, where can they get a hold of you, your social media? Okay, I am on Instagram only. <laughs> only. <laughs> it's Miss Deboho Mukwena. I'm not on Facebook, but they can send me an email. It's Mukwena, beloved, at gmail.com. Thank I'm you. not good with this uh, technology thing, so I just thought, ah, let me just get one. At least you are at least. You are on Instagram at again. One. It's Miss Deboho Mukwena and uh, my email, Mukwena Beloved at gmail.com. Thank you, thank you so much. Um, I hope you guys have been encouraged. I don't even want to say I'm from Kuluma, please go look up Kulumi. But that is what we have for you for Women's Month. I hope that every speaker that we had blessed you and that you will draw strength from their stories. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share. We love you. Bye.